Hello friends! Hi! We've made it to Blow Me Down Provincial Park. So we were in Cornerbrook earlier. This is just about another 50 minutes out on the arm. We're here to do some hikes. And the first one we're doing is... Uh, the Governor's Staircase, which we just walked down to the water here. And... Because this is where the arrow here. was. So like literally that sign over there just had, an, had a pointed arrow here. It looks but like here's there's where the nothing. Beach ends. But there's actually a staircase. But also fantastic views and it seems to be so this is a provincial park and um so you can book campsites but it appears that there's an overflow area and it's all down by the beach so you wouldn't have any service but you'd have a sweet campsite okay here's the arrow this is crazy okay there goes mitch <laughs> oh my gosh wild look at this that's awesome Okay, so again, this is Blow Me Down Provincial Park, and this is called the Governor's Staircase Hike. Clear, clear waters. The views are stunning up here. There's so many stairs. We're having and puffing, but... The reward is great. tell you Newfoundland it's cold in the summer it's freaking as hot as Ontario Ryan how you feeling Aww. I know it's awesome I feel okay okay <laughs> I have felt better <laughs> I felt better <laughs> Okay, folks, we look sweaty and gross, but we just we are. did a hike. It's about 8.30 at night, and we hiked the governor's... Staircase. Staircase. And, and beyond. Then, and beyond. There's another trail, which is supposed to showcase an epic sunset, except we were a little too late. Well... But we did see some really cool... It's hard to tell. What it is is that there's another mountain across the bay and the angle we're on right now, there is a cloud there and I'm, we're hoping it's moving um, because, well, we'll turn and show you. We're not sure if the sun's actually gone sunk already behind this mountain or if it's just behind the cloud. I'm praying it's just behind the cloud. Well, let me... And we're still gonna see a sunset, but you don't, this, this is a hot and sweaty trail. There's a breeze up here now, thank goodness. Um, but it was really hot along the whole way. However, I would recommend, even if you didn't want to hike, just if you come in and park, if you have like a park pass or you're here, just go to the beach and just go to the governor's staircase. Because sure. it's literally, it's that's, on that's the beach. It. <laughs> so It's literally half a Yeah, kilometer. even just to go see that and climb up. And then a very short hike from there, if you follow the trail up, is a really nice lookout over Lark Harbor. Um, so even if, if you just want a short trail, I would highly recommend go up to that nice lookout For point sure. and go back. I actually, oh, I might wish I was down there right now, but there's no sun on any of the bay, so. Okay, so let's just let everyone take a look at this view. Mm-hmm. So that's Lark Harbor. Lark Harbor down there. All right, Whew. I think we're going to start our descent and um, we will see you tomorrow at some point. Well, yeah, tomorrow at our boondocking site. Yeah. We'll share that with you. All right, night. Cheers. What are you doing? Well, three. Three? Yeah. What are we doing? 
We are zip lining today at Marble Mountain near Corner Brook, Newfoundland, and in perfect Newfoundland ways, we're going to do it in the rain. <laughs> what better way? So, uh, yeah, we were just asked on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being you have to buy the harness because you peed your pants, you're scared. <laughs> how scared are you? Mitch, how scared are you? Uh, 13. <laughs> I'm weirdly not scared yet, but um, I will be when I get up there. <laughs> I feel my Apple Watch is going to alert me soon that my heartbeat is very high. It's excessive. Okay. Yeah, we got this. Yeah, it's raining out. There's no lightning though. Actually, it's kind of... It stopped raining. How are you feeling, Jen? A little nervous. You got this. Are you okay with one hand? I... <laughs> <laughs> All right, wish me luck. Good luck. Hodge, you're gonna need it. There it is, perfect landing, Mitch. Nice. Uh, 285 feet, give or take. 285 feet, it's the third biggest now in Canada. It was the tallest um, for the longest time, they said, until Whistler made one, but this one has a water feature. So, Bass Zipline Run is number three at uh, the Zipline Tour. Thank you. That, that one was tall, was eh? Wicked. I know. I really don't like this. Keep those legs straight. You can let go of those ropes. Oh. All right, do you want to count down? No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna dance by myself like nobody's watching. Don't really care. If that was an amazing time. We will leave the link below. These guys are awesome. They have a great attitude. They're so much fun. It's super safe. We're all hooked up with like double lines and it's amazing. They have a 100% safety rating. Highly recommend. This was absolutely fun and don't worry about the rainy weather. It's just Newfoundland. Okay friends, so we've come up the highway. We're headed east, sort of northeast on uh, number one. And we left Cornerbrook today after our zip lining. And we made our way here to, it's Pilly's Island. So we're near Triton. The reason we came here and pulled off the highway is because um, we did hear about a brewery called Bumblebee and it just seemed really cool and it allowed boondockers to stay if we came in and had a meal and some beer. So we decided this would be a great place for the night and the pictures looked lovely. We've just pulled in. We've got some other boondockers here as well, but it is just the most charming bay. Colorful houses, sort of iconic Newfoundland looking. We're gonna have a bite to eat and uh, we're gonna hang out here for the night. So we'll take you inside the brewery and take you around the town or anywhere else we go. Hi folks. <laughs> <laughs> We're here on the patio at the Bumblebee Bite does everybody want it is bite <laughs> bite in and brewery and um, we've been enjoying many of the brews they are delicious the sours the beer everything's been great we're now trying our first little bit of chowder clam chowder what do they call it just chowder it's just chowder yeah it's just some seafood chowder and we all wanted to share so we got Four spoons and a bowl, and how is it, Mitch? Do you want to try that? I've never had chowder in my life. 
and it is outstanding. Like I actually just love the taste. A little bit of lobster. And we're not sure what else. <laughs> um, no, just a lot of like there's some celery, there's a lot of good potatoes in there. Potato. Definitely some potato. Oh mm. yeah. Mm. Mm. Creamy, seafoody, definitely not fishy. It is so good. The chef here is from Morocco, we found out. And Natalie! Oh yes, my dear. Give me a shout out, say hey. hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> Come to the Bumblebee Bite. Natalie and the crew takes care of us. Okay guys, I have found Natalie. She's one of the owners of the Bumblebee and she's gonna take us for a little tour actually of the brewery and I think um, we're gonna do a couple tastings. Yeah. Natalie! Hi. Come, on. Come on. All right. So our brewery is state of the art. We have a different system. We have a smart roof system, which um, our master brewer is actually in New Zealand. We run it on one employee who does all the maintenance, all the cleaning. He cans our single canner in the back of the room. He labels right here. And we have four um, fermenters that are putting out four products in 10 to 14 days. Amazing. So, yeah. Check out these chairs. What do we got behind here, Natalie? We have. Oh, are we tasting? Yes, we have our eight okay. taps. And uh, light or dark. What do we want? Justin, let's try something. Come here. You're going to help out here. Mitch is gone, so I got Justin here. Hello, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what do we want to taste? I'm, but we're kind of the same kind of beer drinkers. Uh, we don't have our dark beer drinkers cool. here. Let's go with something light and easy. Light, light and easy, outside. yes, it okay, is. We'll, it we'll is. We'll try one of our sours, which is our wild bite sour. Is that the blueberry or? Yeah, it's the blueberry. Okay. And then we will have also another light one. How about a cream ale? Okay. Sounds great. I like it. So we're gonna we're gonna have a blueberry sour and a cream ale. So our our beers are named after places surrounding us because we wanted the tourists to go and find these places and maybe open their beers in these places. Oh. So Big Island is just off of uh, Heads Harbor over here about three kilometers away. They found a Beothic uh, funeral burial. Um, oh wow. Yeah and, and so we, we, could, we can teach the tourists about the Beothic um, burial. Oh, wow. And okay. uh, the Wild Bite Blueberry, well the Colburns, which my last name is Colburn, they um, settled in Wild Bite. Over in the other side. Oh, of so that's the name of a town. Well, it used to be. Okay. Yes. Yeah, cheers. All right. So you've got the cream ale. Oh, I am loving sour. So these good. sour beers. What? How's your cream ale? It is absolutely delicious. Okay. Cool, refreshing. Mmm. Let's trade. <laughs> Excellent. Oh, I do like that. You're gonna love this. Is this the blueberry one, Natalie? Yes. Like that is just, these are both hot Great. summer day drinks. You guys need to stop in to the Bumblebee. It's just off the highway. Literally, Natalie has, if you have a camper van and you wanna come in here and have drinks and some dinner, you get to stay in camp for free, which is what we're doing tonight. Otherwise, there's an inn. There's an inn upstairs, five rooms. Uh, you can park overnight as a boondocker. Um, you can come in and take, you know, there's takeaway, there's, yes. we try to make everybody yes. happy. So we are trying multiple different foods tonight and we're staying in the parking lot and this town is the cutest. So if you're traveling past, do not hesitate to take the 20 minute drive in to, is it Pilly's Island? Pilly's Island. Pilly's Island. Green Bay South. Green Bay South and come on in to Bumbly Bee. Bumbly Bumbly Bite <laughs> in a brewery. <laughs> Thanks, it's fantastic. Cheers. Thanks so much, Natalie. Cheers. Cheers. Hey guys, we're on our way to Fogo Island today. So we've driven up towards Twillingate and we've come out this road that seems to literally drive just, it ends 
at the ferry terminal and the whole road is stopped right now. We're just trying to figure out, you cannot book ahead of time if you're going to Fogo Island. Um, you just have to show up. Um, the times are posted online. So we're gonna let you know what this experience is like. We, I believe there's a ferry in an hour. And according to Google, we are still 400 meters away from the ferry terminal. So we're gonna find out what's going on and we'll let you know how things roll at uh, Fogo Island Ferry Terminal. Okay, so it was very simple. We lined up for the ferry. Uh, the tick when the ticket gate opens, the light turns green. It was thirty dollars. They did not ask about the length of the vehicle. It was how many people were on board. So it was thirty dollars for two of us. So that's the prices, and there's nothing here. So it's amuse yourself time when you get to the ferry terminal. I'll just show you here. Our ferry's just pulled in, so we should be boarding momentarily, but it's literally just a big parking lot, and there's a building right there with some washrooms. There was a sign further down the road that said something about Mabel's, so we actually thought there was a little store or something to get some treats. Mabel's May maybe used to be there, but there's nothing. We're gonna come back when we're loading. Okay, that was a quick 45 minute ferry ride over to Fogo Island and uh, now we're going to explore and see what the island has to okay, offer. Not just that, Mitch is not telling you the best part. We saw a whale oh, as geez, we were pulling I forgot, in. Yes. Nothing on board the ferry in the way of refreshments, food, you got washrooms and seats. Yep. Fine. It was it's a quick ferry minutes, ride yeah. so. Hi. We're here from Fogo Island in Newfoundland. Wow, it's pretty gorgeous. It's beautiful, wow. So you saw us come across on the ferry. We actually, our plans were to boondock here tonight. We just wanted to like explore the island. But we got to our first place where we were going on this hike. So we are at Brimstone Head. Yep. I don't know if it's Brimstone Head. I think it's just Brimstone Head here right in Fogo proper on the island. It's the town of Fogo that we're just outside of. Then we found this kit. There was a campground there and we just asked. Yep. And Newfoundland is amazing. They are not booked up with their campsites. So we have beautiful yep. ocean view campsites. And this trail is right. The trailhead is literally right at the uh, Lions campground. Yep. So we're climbing Brimstone Head and it's beautiful. We've already seen whales. We've seen fox and we've really only been here like an hour it's been great yeah so we're climbing to the top right now to show you guys the view but it is the town of fogo is so cute from here and it's it's so it's very rocky rugged out here it is beautiful so Okay, so we're almost to the top. Let's go. Okay, for our viewers. So we're 
here at the top of Brimstone Head in Fogo, Newfoundland, and the Flat Earth Society believes that this is one of the four corners of Flat Earth. So, although we are 100% round earth believers, uh, it's just kind of neat. It's funny that this is one of the spots that is considered one of the four corners of uh, Flat Earth. So here we are at the end of the world. How can you? Well, good morning, friends. We did stay the night here in Fogo on Fogo Island at the Lions Club parking lot. Parking lot. At the Lions Club campground. And it is beautiful because it's sitting right here on the beach. This was our site. So nice. Our friends are right there. So it's really nice because it's tiered. So we're in the second row, but as you can see, the first row is down below. So everybody gets an amazing view of the sea. I've already been watching whales out here this morning. I'm not even gonna try and show them on the camera because they are out there. I've been using the binoculars watching them. It's so peaceful and amazing here. That is the mountain we climbed up there yesterday at the lookout that was uh, brimstone head so today we're going to explore more of the island before we take the ferry back so we'll bring you along Okay, we're here on Fogo Island. We've taken a little drive and we are here at the infamous Fogo Inn. It's really interesting, we did some reading on this. Obviously the architecture is extremely interesting and there's a lot that went in behind this. It was an architect who was born in Newfoundland and is based in Norway. And the owner, this is actually a charity owned in um, but Zita Cobb is an entrepreneurial woman who really this whole idea was hers she was born and raised on Fogo Island and went off to become a millionaire off in the uh, Canada and the US and has come back to Fogo Island and is trying to revitalize tourism and the economy here and this is part of her work we're going there's also some other buildings that are um, they're like studios that were built by the same architect and they are extremely cool and unique building so we're gonna go check out some more of those but yeah if you're ever here if you want to stay here i believe it's pretty expensive um we've heard everywhere from a thousand to five thousand dollars a night but it's pretty i'm sure it's quite beautiful inside it's really interesting from the outside just very minimalist very clean no real grand entrance but it's a very unique building and we're gonna go see some more so if you're here on fogo come check this out it's really cool and zeta cobb seems like a really cool lady too Okay, so we're here in uh, Joe Batten's arm, and we were over at the inn, which is across the bay. Now we're across the bay from the inn, and this is called the Long House. So that's another one of the studios that we were talking about that was built by the same architect, whose name I honestly am going to look up before I say this again. <laughs> Um, so we're out here on the trail. You can walk right past it and take some pictures. It's uh, very cool. We're gonna carry on and see. I think we're going out to a point on our uh, morning walk. How you doing, babes? Doing great. And we did find out some information about the inn. Um, so you have to reserve, it's a three night minimum for $4,075 per night. And there's only 29 rooms, but that is all included. That includes all your food and your three night stay. Um, but yeah, 
pretty pricey, but it's a pretty unique experience. Yeah, for sure. And obviously, Fogo Island is very unique in itself. It's gorgeous. feathers because they were using them for their down. So no more gray dogs. So this is a little tribute to the gray dog. So definitely stop and check out the art galleries if you're into that. There's pottery shops as well. Uh, we didn't find anything small enough for the van, not not yet, and uh, not this time. Anyway, I think we're gonna keep cruising along. We're gonna try to stop at one of the other studios. It's called the Tower um, to show you that. But just hope you enjoy the scenery along the way here in Tom Batten Art. To, um, the studio that's called the tower that's behind me very unique there is some windows set around the back I think I got a shot of and then just these doors I think this was the most recently finished we had to park on the side of the road and it's quite a walk in down a long boardwalk over the bog we do have beautiful views when you get out here again we can't find any information online about rentals or anything for these studios I believe it's part of an artist program so maybe it's like by invite or something but they're really neat to walk around and see and literally this one you can see it you just watch for a little spot on the side of the road that starts the trail park on the side of the road and come in for a walk because I from what we can see anyway like nobody's staying in these but, so we're gonna carry on to the ferry now and uh get off of Fogo Island so we'll catch you there all right folks we just got off the ferry from Fogo Island and that's a wrap on our video we hope you enjoyed all of our journeys we took you on if you did give us a like uh subscribe if you haven't and uh, next week, we're going to see you in Twillingate. Cheers. Cheers.